just not going to pay attention? I have to get things posted, Bo. Well, oh, are we live? Yes, you don't even have your ears in. Hi, guys. Hold on one second. I promise. I'm, just, I'm sorry. This is... I'm trying to make people know that we're live. Okay? We trying are... To... What are you wearing? What in the fuck are you wearing? Nothing. What are you talking about? I... Uh, what? Uh, what are you my doing? lighting is so strange. What are you, what are you talking about? Are we about okay with it? Are we okay with my lighting? Do I need to change it? Okay. Well, I mean. I mean, oh my god, though, I can't with you dressed like this. Please stop! What? Stop! What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> I, I have to see your face so I can. When I do something ridiculous, I can see the response. Now just do this. <laughs> Uh, somebody <laughs> thinks you're sponsored. Nick thinks you're sponsored, Bo. No, we're partially supported by several companies, <laughs> but I don't know what you're talking about. I can't imagine what you're speaking of. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Live on Two Wheels, episode eight of season two. Fun fact, I'm totally going to use these, by the way. Yeah, yeah, you totally should. Guys, uh, we're a little late today. Had a little uh, had a little issues uh, getting live. Seems like the internet just uh, pooped out on us. Literal seconds before we went live. So uh, we went live and we had feed, and then all of a sudden uh, it shit the bed in the middle of the countdown that we do every time. So what, that, of course it fun. did. Of course it's live on two wheels. Of course it did. Yeah. We're live. We're doing it live. Season two still can't fucking get it right. <laughs> Season two still <laughs> ruining this show. Yeah. Um, guys, if you didn't know, Live on Two Wheels is your weekly motorcycle live show brought to you here on the Chase on Two Wheels channel. Uh, for the live event, and then afterwards we post the video over on our uh, Live on Tools YouTube page. So, guys, make sure to go check it out over there and uh, subscribe because uh, we got some cool giveaways we're going to be doing today. I don't think I can make it any more obvious. We got today's a big Cardo giveaway. Given we got some other stuff to talk about with Cardo. Let me wipe my, my face. Hold on. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for wiping your face with yeah. that. I think, um, I, had, I think I had popcorn on it. Oh, gosh. Yeah, thank God you have that little cloth. Yeah. Uh, so, guys, today I am super excited because today on episode eight, we are talking our second episode of Path to Upgrade. Yep. We've commented. I've, I've made a community post over on the YouTube channel. We got somebody. Uh, Ghost got, uh, he selected one of them. He redacted all of the guy's information. And by the way, y'all's response on the community post you guys killed it there were yeah. so many of y'all that commented on it and we're talking about just giving us y'all's entire bike breakdown it gets us excited seeing how excited you guys are getting yeah. so shout out for y'all doing that um we're gonna get into that you guys know we have our our initial part of our show where the first 20 minutes is just bullshit <laughs> um let's it's call it what it is um, but I, I, I'm super excited. This honestly, Path to Upgrade is currently my favorite segment that we do on Live on Two Wheels. So yeah. uh, I think you guys are going to be super excited. It's a great way for you, us to tell you which adventure bikes we like. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you the. Well, nope. Never mind. Stop I, talking. I'm not going to promise you anything. Don't make you don't get any promises. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's get into the show. Uh, let's get this thing going. <sighs> I'm back from vacation. Yeah, you were on a, a big old vacation. Let's say, well, we'll talk about my vacation uh, in a moment. I wish I had uh, photos I could uh, show you guys from our cold vacation. We'll talk about that in a second. Anyway, Bo, let's get the show started. Ghost tip of the week. Are you ready? I haven't read there, this yet, so I'm about to read it for the first time. Is there any things that we need to know about this show, which is also a podcast? Oh shit! Yes, this is. Dude, you were gone for one week. We you weren't even. <laughs> you didn't even miss an episode. <laughs> this show. If you don't want to watch us either live here on Chase on Two Wheels channel or after the fact over on the Live on Two Wheels YouTube channel, uh, you can listen to us. It's a, uh, we are a podcast, of course, on top of the video form, and it's available on Apple Podcast, Spotify, and Google Podcast. Even though Apple Podcasts and Spotify are the big boys, so if you guys want to listen to us, we're available over there. Uh, if you're on Apple Podcasts, make sure to uh, leave us a comment. And a comment? Oh my God, I'm a YouTuber. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> leave us a review, and we'll read it on the show. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I forgot to look for a review today, so we will re we will do that next week. 
I, I want like you came back to work and you just automatically checked out. I wish you could have seen how many emails I rocked through today. You did. You did I, good. I, you did good. I, you son. did good, son. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, leave comments on Apple Podcasts. We will read them next week. I promise. All right. Dad joke. I mean, ghost tip of the week. Yeah, so it's a, it's a dad joke. Um, hold on. Let me get your screen up there, bud. Go for it. Make it big. All right. Make it, do it big. Do it big. All right. Ghost tip of the week is, this may seem obvious, but don't eat clocks. It's very time-consuming. Especially if you go back for seconds. <laughs> yes! God, that... Yes! Oh, my, my God. <laughs> Here's the thing. The jokes aren't that, the jokes aren't it's, that bad. It's you. Oh, yeah. You are so extra i love <laughs> the shit out of these it may be my favorite part of the show i'm not gonna lie you guys know i like that jokes ghost thank you so much uh if you guys want to follow ghost on two wheels over on instagram boom it's there yes sir dad clap okay dad okay. clap okay um, oh, also, nice job, Bo, for hitting the record button. If we could all get a clap in the chat for uh, Bo hitting the record button, I really appreciate that. You can't clap for yourself, though, Bo. You I can't didn't. clap They're for clapping. yourself. They're clapping. They're clapping. Oh, okay. Sorry, I don't have I, I don't have the beautiful people up. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm gonna try to put y'all uh, y'all's chat up because I don't have my little iPad today, and I <laughs> I like seeing you guys comment. You know, I, yeah. I like that, I like this being an interactive in experience. Here's for the thing me. with you not having the chat up is that like the chat goes fucking litty, dude. Like they are they are going to town. Yeah, you guys are you guys are uh you guys are the gasoline behind our fire. You know what I'm saying? Also, don't make fires with gasoline. Okay, uh, so <laughs> before we get too far, uh, I do want to point you guys in the direction of our Discord page. It's totally free. It's full of motorcycle enthusiasts. If you guys are into motorcycles, you will have a good time over on our Discord. Yeah. Now, the reason I say that is because in today's episode and every episode of Live on Two Wheels, over on our Discord page, we have a thread called Live on Two Wheels Season 2 Episode 8 for this episode only. Uh, Bo, if you'll go to my screen, I can show the people. Yeah, one second. I'm trying to make Ghost appear somewhere else because it's in my way for, for a second. Ghost is just appearing. Yeah, I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> he said, Ooh. Here, I'll hydrate because I'm still got, trying to drink got, a gallon got, of water a day. All right. <clears throat> there it is. Oh, hey, look at you putting the top bar in frame. Yeah. So, if you guys, if you're on our Discord page, this is what it is here on the left. If you go to the Live on Two Wheels section, scroll all the way down, you that will see. The easier way to do that. Right here or. Here on the top left, yeah, click threads. On, click on that boy. Click that. Not this one. Do not click on that. Click on this one. <laughs> this is our meme area. Now, you guys, if you go drop photos, funny memes, anything in there, the last five minutes of the show, we're going to read through that. Pick someone. They're going to get a $50 RevZilla gift card because we love our peeps over at RevZilla. We want you guys to get stuff, so we We also haven't you. forgotten about the last uh, winner of that, but there is some uh, shipping issues, so we're gonna deal with that. So we I'm just gonna say out. this directly to you. We got you covered, we're just working it out. Yeah, there you go. So uh, go over to the Discord, do that stuff. And you guys, you don't gotta be complicated. Photos alone are great, and you could put a comment with it. It's a little little caption. Don't try, don't overthink it. And be careful, because the smart, smart fam, they're over they there. They come in strong. They come in strong. Okay. Um, so that's look at this. Intro done. Ghost tip of the week done. Now, time for the quick shifter segment. We still don't have a quick shifter segment. Oh, wait, before we get to that, Moto Photo of the Week. Thank you, Bo, for showing that. Uh a little Moto Photo of the Week by by one of the smart guys himself, Andy Gooney. Yeah. Andy you Gooney. Uh, Discord user and COO. I know that. I know that place. Is Andy the COO of Smart Industries, or is he the CEO? We're not really sure on Andy's no. uh, level at the Smart at are Smart they Industries. Are they incorporated or are they uh, LLC? We'll have to <laughs> we'll have to ask. Anyway, a little photo here from Andy. Uh, yeah, that area looks a little familiar. Look at that. Got all types of motors. Even got the Can Am love. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Nice photo, Andy. Thank you for being a, a, a valued member of our Discord page. Yeah. We love you a long time. Yeah, bud. Um, okay, so knocked out that now. Quick shifter. I haven't even read through these, so I'm gonna be re- I'm gonna be That's the whole point. I'm gonna be experiencing these with you guys. So guys, it's our quick shifter segment. It is time to go over just some, you know, some high level points of uh, motorcycle news. If you guys want us to uh, look into anything, let us know in the comments or the chat, whatever. And uh, you know, if it's enough. We'll make a whole episode out of it. <clears throat> yeah. uh, first up, quick shifter segment. Nope. Quick shifter. Nope. Or quick shifter. That's my uh, okay, that's my intro. Anyway, Aston Martin and Bruh? How do you say that? Aston Martin Brew? And Brew. Bro? Let's go Bro. with Brew. Aston Martin and Brew Superior reveal the AMB001 motorcycle, a track only bike limited to just 100 produced. Link below if this becomes a longer shifted segment. Whoa, hold on. Pause. We have to look. I just have to look at it. Okay. I it, need to look at it so I can appreciate it. Apparently, it's a. Uh, keep going. Holy fucking shit. What in the fucking what in the alien GTA? versus predator, <laughs> bro? It, it covers up the screen. I feel like what in the fuck is? Th- uh, if you're only listening, I want you to think of this a might be carbon- the weirdest looking motorcycle I've ever seen. Okay, in my okay. So life. all right, so for our podcast listeners, I want you to get in your brain an alien like alien no, versus it is predator. A predator helmet. A predator helmet. But a, like from Alien vs. Predator or Predator, if you're familiar. And then yeah, you know predator. think of like a... I, uh, There's nothing to describe. There is this. no <laughs> way to describe this. Go and look it up because what in the fuck? I mean, the fuck? design is cool. It de- definitely looks like it's made by a, a design by a company like Bro, Austin Martin. You but it know. does not look like it would be anything on the fucking track. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, okay, we're not going to get into it. That was quick shifter right. uh, for that thing. Okay, Gross. moving on. Wow, that was... Okay, anyway, du- next up, Ducati posts best revenue and profit ever recorded in 2021, up 30% from 2020. Goddamn, fam! I was, Woo! I need you to... 30% profit left. upgrade? Bro, Ducati doing some stuff. Well, when your margins are much higher than everybody else. <laughs> Congrats on Ducati for a phenomenal year. Wow. I really <laughs> I really hope that means we get to... Never mind. I've said too much. Yeah. I can't. Okay, moving yeah. on. Yamaha donates 700000 in humanitarian aid to Ukraine. Can Excellent. We- yes. Yes. We uh, we stand by uh, Ukraine here? Yes, sir. Absolutely. That's, that's amazing. Yep. Good job, Yamaha. All right. Next up, this Gibson. This one I like. Oh, okay, I'm excited. Gibson and Triumph Motorcycles team up for the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride with a 1959 Legends Custom Edition guitar and motorcycle. Yes, sir. Do we have a photo of that? That sounds awesome. I don't know. Okay, we'll we'll find a photo of that. It that seems, seems like really a, cool. That seems like anything a, a Triumph puts their name on has that. But I'm, t- I'm what? simping super hard for trying for I have right, no Do we have a picture? Hold on. Yes, we do have a picture. I'm pulling it up right now. If Milo Note will stop being um it's got a everybody butt. inside it. Bro, I can check dig it. Check that I can dig out. It. I can dig it. I I'm like not, here's the thing. I am for any of you who don't know, I've been playing guitar since I was nine. Uh I'm not a fan of Les Paul's as a whole i don't like that's not my kind of tone or anything oh wait scroll go go back up uh, i like that the headstock on the tank that's pretty cool that oh but it's a guitar gorgeous, but they're gorgeous guitars uh, but it's just not my style as far as man that is uh, a i really like so i wouldn't have thought i liked the brown with the fucking brown, but missed opportunity to not have the uh tiger grain on the tank though yeah okay so very cool very cool if you guys uh, if you're just listening uh you know watch the live show or watch the video and you'll be able to see what we're talking about uh next at randrew from smart industries is busy teaching msf courses nice so shout out to him for bringing in more riders yeah buddy nice randrew becoming a a msf course teacher that's awesome how do you even 
Yeah. How yeah. does do? There's like a writer coach program. Yeah, that's really cool. Shout out to Randrew, the you know, of course, Smart Industries uh, <laughs> big guy. Next up, Ghost was finally caught on camera by Yanto SP at the Yamaha Demo Day. That was fun. Yeah, you guys got to me you and, guys got to hang out with Ghost and, and go do the Yamaha. And Trey, uh, uh, Avery in the uh, chat right now was up there. It was good. We uh, got to ride the T7. Suck it. Next quick shift. I don't have uh, anyway. Chase's proofreading skills have improved unless he just reads this aloud. <laughs> 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 you pressured me into that. I I'm trying to hurry up through Quick Shifter. I didn't do anything. You fucking goon. <laughs> it was amazing. I was busy. I had a busy I week. I love that it was still just as funny the second time. I totally time. forgot that that happened last week. Oh my god, that's Son of be a fun. bitch. That was fucking hilarious. All right. Hold on, we have a video. Uh, we have a, a video of, from Ghost here. So uh, right, hold on. let me get bring it up on your screen there, bud. Okay. All right. I, I don't know what this is. I, In all honesty, I we, haven't. We, yeah, I haven't go. watched this we yet. We also don't know if the audio is going to come through the machine yet. So well, let's find out. Yeah, let's find out together. Oh, wait. Yeah, I, I, I can fix that. You. I have the power. Okay. You, fix it. I fix sure? the audio. I'm not sure. Uh, next up, motorcycles are one of the coolest things ever. Just seeing if Chase would read this line. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Ron Burgundy over there. He just reads what's on the teleprompter. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> and you fucking did it. No hesitation. <laughs> and then the realization said. I got burgundy. <laughs> that was so good. That, that laugh. Was so good. That laugh. Okay, the sound that's of almost fair. vomiting from I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> Well, uh, so that was last week. If you guys missed it, oh and God bless, man! Wow, just I walked straight into the fire. I can't wait from a year from now to have the supercut of you reading all of the things that get written into the quick shifter <laughs> segment. Jesus Christ! Uh. <laughs> all right, guys, uh, that's the quick shifter segment. That is uh, some top level news from the motorcycle industry. Again, if you guys are curious about any of those things individually, let us know. We'll build a whole show out of it. Yeah. And by we, I want to give full credit to Ghost because that's who built. <laughs> these man. shows out yeah. um okay now before we get to the main topic final thing we got to talk about is Boom. Oh. <laughs> wait it's the housekeeping <laughs> well, you ruined it housekeeping. <laughs> well, thank you sleeping just for that moment to play you ruined the surprise <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the first thing was. <laughs> I hit the wrong button, it happens. Oh, oh, hitting the wrong button. Look who's hitting the wrong yeah. buttons now. But then I stopped and I assessed the situation. That didn't you did. fucking you did. hammer fist <laughs> you the soundboard. You did a good job, bud. Um, all right, guys. <laughs> I should have just let that play. <laughs> Housekeeping segment. Uh, guys, I've been out of town since last Friday. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know what's been going on at the shop. I hadn't even been here. We, uh, we held the, it down and we realized that we don't need you anymore. So, so sorry to we, say, uh, this is we wanted you to be in a safe space so that you know you wouldn't feel cornered or anything. But mm -hmm. uh, we're letting you know that we're uh, we, it's just time for us to part ways. Uh, Am I getting not, fired from my own company? A, it's, <laughs> it's just not a good time or a good fit uh, for the company in its current uh, position. So sorry, uh, we'll have security. Is there any help severance? you gather your things? <laughs> is there any severance package? This here? is a right to work state, so good luck. I don't know what that means. Well, it means that we can just let you go for whatever reason. We don't have to have a reason. Oh, well, it's been good, guys. <laughs> have you ever uh, filled out unemployment before in the state of Georgia? I have not. Fun fact. Oh God, <laughs> I don't want to learn. When I was sixteen years old, I filled out uh, their application online. And uh, it was very much a 16-year-old Bo's uh, perception of what online looked like back then. I'm sure if anybody's as old as I am, they remember it. Mm -hmm. uh, in 2019, when the company uh, fucking shit-canned the entire department, uh, I went to go fill out unemployment. It's the same site. 
I don't mean it goes to the same place. I mean, every single thing about it <laughs> is the same. It was from the same cipher 1996. <laughs> so if you're unemployed in the state of Georgia, my heart goes out to you. Uh, also, fuck them. Oh, well, it's good to know. I'm, I'm glad we all now know about unemployment. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, the family and I... Uh, it literally the whole fam, uh, Oreo, Heather, and I went to Orlando to go to uh, Disney World. We were there. What was a long trip for you? It was a long trip for us. Yeah. Uh, Oreo did good though. We had a great time. Uh, yeah. Galaxy's Edge is just nuts. I As bet. a Star Wars person, we finally got to uh, ride uh, you, Rise of you the. Didn't ri- come home with a lightsaber. I did not. You sack of shit. I did not. I'm so sorry. Um, I am the most. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. It's, ooh. <laughs> well, so uh, long story short, had a good time. Bo, how was it without me here? Was it quiet and diligent or? <clears throat> I mean, we fucked around a lot. Yeah, figured. Uh, but we got a lot done, too. <clears throat> hey, I mean, long- me and Trey were just holding it down, just hanging out. You guys got an episode of uh, WBR Garage filmed as well. We- Two videos came out. When two videos came out, you got a whole bunch of shit you were writing. I don't know. I don't know what you do over there. <laughs> Straight just over there. Just, just yeah, just, yeah, I think he's like doing Wordle or something. I don't know. Uh, no, we got a lot of shit done. You know how it has when nobody's here. Um, you know, a lot more stuff gets done. <laughs> well, good. <laughs> I'm glad that in my in my stead, uh, things, but things before get Before we happening. move on, I'm, I'm going to say something. Uh-huh. There's two things that I'd like to bring up. Bring it up. Uh, for House Gaming 1. Bring it up now, tell me, do you really want to love me forever? Mm-hmm. Uh, number one, and it doesn't matter because she doesn't watch anything that we put out ever, but it's my wife's birthday. Happy birthday also. since she, Today? Yeah, since she doesn't watch. Happy birthday, Bo's wife. Woo! Yeah, since she doesn't watch, I'm just going to say that like I saw some of her snacks out of the cupboard the other day, so we'll see if she actually watches this because then she'll... We're really particular about our food and our snacks. They are ours. Oh, this is you putting it out there to yeah. see if she yeah. says anything yep. as a test to her on her birthday. Yep. 34. Uh, she looks like she's 24. That'll be really creepy in a couple of years when I end up looking like I'm 60. So, <laughs> Well, happy birthday to your late. I should say birthday. <laughs> birthday. <laughs> birthday. Yeah. March is a heavy birthday yeah. month, by the way. Oh, uh, second thing. Yes. There's a picture on... Um, on the Milo note that uh, Ghost has, it's, uh-huh. uh, of the two of us, of the two of us. Yeah, yeah, it's on the left hand side. On the left hand, <laughs> are you talking about this one? Well, that one right there. What's that about? Uh, this is uh, Adventure Bros coming twenty twenty two. You'll have to circa July. I mean, ish. So we've got that that going on. And what other news do do I have specifically? Oh, <laughs> oh, guys! <laughs> Bo is moments away from purchasing his next bike. Yep, it's almost time. Cash in hand. Cash is in hand. Yep. We are gonna try to work out a few more little details. Yep. But I mean, hypothetically, kind of soon. Yeah. Bo might be finally getting the bike of his dreams. Yep. So. Adventure Bros might be actually coming to you guys. Yes, sir. All right. Um, okay. So I, I feel like that's good. That's housekeeping. Yeah. It was a cool week. We put some cool stuff out. We aren't going to have a first ride coming out next week, guys. Uh, we had catastrophic uh, camera car uh, issues, but we are filming well, a first ride tomorrow. You should specify it's not an accident because <laughs> you have to say that. Good point. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's not an accident. It was an we equipment had failure. It was an equipment failure of literally a the battery receptacle. So, like, no power could get to our gimbal, blah, blah, blah. You guys don't care. Um, everything, we have a new piece in. We're able to film. So, yeah. tomorrow we're going to – I'm going to be getting back on a Super Sport. Going to be riding the Jixxer 750 tomorrow. Should be fun. Uh, that video won't come out, of course, until the following week. <clears throat> All right. So, it's time, Bo. <clears throat> we have we have dicked around long enough. <laughs> it's yeah, time to play the much. Pokemon version uh, <laughs> of what bike should somebody upgrade to? Yeah, they tell us the Bulbasaur. We give them the Ivysaur and Venusaur. If you guys know what I'm saying, and if you don't, look at the screen. Okay, uh, so Bo, for first off, let's let's go to the bike map section that we have set up. 
Okay. I'm going to bring up your screen now. Yeah, you can go ahead and bring up my screen. And um, so, guys, of all the comments in the section uh, in our little uh, community post, Ghost chose Ian Malone's question uh, or info. He says he started out on a KTM 390 adventure. Afterwards, he upgraded to a Triumph Tiger 800. Now, Ghost, being the awesome producer that he is, did not want to taint our thoughts and feelings on what Ian should be on next. So he has redacted key information. I'm now going to read uh, Ian's entire thing. Yeah, yeah. Started on a KTM 390 adventure. Upgraded to a Triumph Tiger 800. Next bike looking like a redacted space redacted or redacted also thinking of picking up redacted to do redacted that was a long redacted. that was a long it was a lot of redacted so we have no idea what ian plans on doing i have not looked at the community post i i only know the path that i can give the man to upgrade right Bo has done the same thing so i can just uh, we just we just go off of <clears throat> what we know and then kind of yeah, so we we use our information of you know the the decade of riding experience that we have, and uh, we move for. Oh wait, before we get into that, you didn't get to tell me how the tenor was. Do you want to do that, or do you want to do that? Another okay, thing? so yeah, so uh, if I will say you rode the Yamaha event thing. Yes, I will say this. I'll make it real brief. If you are looking, if you love that engine and that platform, right, and you want to go off road. And you don't care about any of like the top end like creature comforts and because it's pretty bare bones. It's an engine, some dirt. Oh, <laughs> we have a photo. Yes. Oh, yeah. we do. Yes. Uh, look nice. at this. Nice. Yeah. Uh, great bike. Solid, bro. That's such a good looking bike. So here's the thing, that was much more capable in the street than I was expecting. It was very planted. Uh huh. Uh, even with that big 21 inch uh, front tire, it did not feel washed out or vague. It's w- were you all on road? Yeah, yeah, all. On okay. Road. It it was a it was a supremely surprising ride when I got on it. Did I, you I like pref- it as much as the MT07? <clears throat> I liked it more. That's what I want to fucking yeah, yeah. hear. Absolutely, I, I liked it more than the Tracer Nine. <gasps> even f- I will say this: it's better than the Tracer Nine at being a sport touring bike <laughs> oh my god i want this bike so it's, okay we, it's a great we, bike uh, good to hear i don't mean to cut <laughs> you off i cannot i can't go down the adventure bros path i already want to sell my wr if anybody wants to buy it just let me know so i can buy it I mean, you just put that in the world yeah no we could make it happen okay quicker there. um so all right so we're on to so we are, we're it, on path to upgrade. If you had, if you didn't see the other episode, it, it is essentially we we take the information that we have and we give our best guesses on what that is. Now, what we have is these two bikes as information. Which bikes did he have? Yeah. So he had he started out on the KTM 390 Adventure, which solid. I think is a pretty interesting it's, place it's to a start. Solid start. Though. It's an amazing start, but I just don't know how many people start out in the adventure path because like. Well, you don't know if he had uh, any dirt bike experience or anything like that. That's true. He doesn't tell us that, so we have to yeah. just make some assumptions. I wouldn't be surprised if Ian had started out on a in a dirt area and was kind of familiar with that. Yeah. Because that, like, I don't know, adventuring, adventure bikes in general, and, and the 390 Adventure should be considered an adventure bike. Yeah. I don't see that as being somewhere that people would start on. So I, I find it super interesting to hear from someone that actually started there. It's a solid engine, <clears throat> and, it, and it gives you a little bit more play in the Yeah, uh, no, absolutely. Yeah. I think the 390 Duke is a phenomenal motorcycle. Yeah. I, I think if I was to start out, like that would be in my top three bikes to look into is the yeah. 390 Duke. Obviously, the 390 Adventure based on the Duke platform. Yeah, yeah. Um, Second one. So after he went from, you know, most people – when they're on a 300 or hey ian's in here this nice. is awesome nice ian so glad you're here uh, i i'm super interested to see how you respond to this whole thing um okay so started out on the 390 adventure I- i'm not surprised that you know most people that start out on a 300 or a 400 if you you know continue riding and riding ends up being something you're super interested in yeah. very common for somebody like that to get really familiar with that engine and then start wanting more power so, 
Ian went from the KTM 390 Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> he went to the Triumph Tiger 800. I'm sorry, I'm Ghost. laughing. Ghost is floating around our little notes page, and it it it, it was actually it's, hilarious. It's hilarious. Um, okay, so 390 Adventure jumps all the way up to a Tiger 800, which uh, that is a considerable jump, if you're asking me. Well, it, it kind of that is. The whole reason that the eight hundred, the nine hundred exists was to address some of the issues of the eight hundred. And one of the issues of the eight hundred is that it's the standard Triumph triple, right? So even firing order, right? No, okay. No weirdness, which means just like other triples in Triumph's line, it you had to wind it out. Gotcha. So it doesn't have a lot as, as much low end. So I, so I'm I'm reading into the eight hundred a little too much. Maybe yeah, yeah. maybe it's a slightly underpowered for an eight hundred or something like yeah. that. I mean, it's because we don't even have that. Anymore. We don't know. What, Triumph doesn't even make that anymore. They now right. make a eight fifty and a nine fifty, if I remember correctly, uh, or nine hundred. They don't have the eight hundred in the states, I believe. I think they gotcha. still have the eight. They okay. have they have the eight hundred on their sites, and I they see. they have like forty million different versions of yeah they, i i did not realize this until i was doing research today there are a lot of tigers they got they got a whole damn zoo over there yeah. on on triumph site okay that's all the info we have we have a entry level adventure bike we have a medium level adventure bike yeah and here we are uh bo would you like to go first with your first are we, pick? Gonna, are we gonna do a one 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 yeah uh, you okay. do so and, and by the way i don't know if you did your picks like this but i wrote my picks as in I kind of kept it in he only has one motorcycle, yeah. and his first pick is the first thing he would upgrade to, right. and then he would upgrade his bike after that. All of my choices are going to be fairly obvious. Interesting. Okay. I feel like I, I, I'm very excited right, because go, go I like and, the path. Uh, go ahead and open up number number one. Okay. Number one for Bo is? Clearly. Like, if if the, the, the upgrade for it, right? I, by the way, I want to be clear. We haven't looked at each other's picks. Nah. So I've got as this. my first pick the Tiger 900 Rally Pro. Okay. Because there's a there's a there's a pattern here. <sighs> An adventure bike, a more off road adventure bike, right? Which, okay. Because gets... you are way more familiar with the Tiger platform, right? So yeah. But the T the T plane for uh -huh. the 900 produces a lot more low end uh, torque. Okay, so real torquey, and the yeah. you're you're only going from a nine hundred or an eight hundred to a nine hundred. Yeah. So, it's but you not also a huge get a trip. lot of tech package for it too. So you get a lot of the creature comforts, which the Tiger nine hundred translates really well to uh, multi purpose. Uh, right. So you've got a good, you know, uh, street bike, and you've got a good uh, off road bike. It's not better than uh, some of the other competition at either one of them. Right. But it is good enough to bridge that, both, that gap. So you so. think his next bike should basically be a slight upgrade, but more of a tech upgrade. More of a tech upgrade. To the 900. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah, that okay. was my first pick. I could totally see that, yeah, especially because, yeah. you know, like, really, depending on the bike, obviously, but an 800cc, like, you're already in that kind of good area where you've got the power to get you places. This is why I love the MT-07. It's a 700, right, or a whatever the exact CC is, but I, there's enough to play with. You know what I mean? And you're not going to get tired with it, and it's got a good balance and stuff like that. I could totally see a 900. Uh, interestingly, yep. uh, going over to my first what pick, so I'm, I'm assuming Ian's going to be riding this Tiger 800. He's going to ride the balls off of it before okay. he upgrades. If he's already on an 800, I don't think the 900 is going to be enough. I think he's jumping all the way to the 1200 to the 1200 Rally Pro. I, at that point, good call. You gotta, you want to cap out your segment. You're thinking, you're thinking, go all the way. Yeah, I'm like, so he's obviously still into adventure bikes because yeah. he started <clears throat> there. His next bike is still there. He's obviously dedicated to the adventure space. Yeah. He wants to be able to go off road. Probably rides a lot on road. I'm thinking he's like, bro, I love this Triumph. I love this platform. I'm the, going the to new, the biggest of the big. The new the new 1200 uh, is a really, it's much lighter than the old 1200. It's got all the cool shit from the uh, 900, the new 900, uh, including that T-plane, which is just a fantastic engine and sounds mean. Uh, it's good. It's a good, that's a good choice. Yeah. So, um... So obviously my reasoning for this was uh, the Tiger 1200 Rally Pro. Why? At this point, he's going to want and experience the full evolution 
of what his 800 could be. Not to say the 800 is bad, but like if you put it on all the steroids, where is he going? Yeah. And uh, this is he, he clearly, like I said, he clearly Both of us went T plane triumph in, in yeah, an, in, yeah, that's you, hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Also, so Ian's Ian's live in the chat. Yeah. He said he put 3,200 miles on the Tiger in four around four months. Noish. The bro is riding. Yeah. So, Ian, uh, I'm definitely saying you're going to go 1,200 Rally Pro. Max out your segment and see what happens afterwards. Of course, this goes to it, our our list does not take into budget. Uh, anyway. Yeah, we kind of throw budget out the window. Uh, obviously, my option coming in at 22,500. Bo's option coming in at 17,100. Yeah. If we're going to be honest, if, if, here realistically, I think Bo's got a better option. Um, the price difference of what is that five grand? Yeah. That's a lot of cash. Yeah. So I mean, it's a hell of a capable machine. Yeah, the I'm not U super familiar with what tech package the 800 has on it, but I know that you know just hearing from what you've talked about with the 900, yeah. you are massive upgrade. Yeah, it does have the uh, electronic suspension though, so that's a fucking oh, man. Nice electronic thing. suspension is is it's like nice. that stuff <laughs> just gets me like giggling. I love it so much. It's one of those things that like you don't think about. Uh, Until you ever, have it. And then you have it and you're like, oh, well, fuck, now, mm -hmm. now I want it in everything. It really sucks when you're a cheap ass, but you yeah. get to do all the demo bikes and you're like, man, this stuff's so great. Yeah. Uh, so uh, <laughs> Ghost just brought up, we do have an ad break. So that's, that's pick one, guys. Right. We're going to jump to an ad really fast, and then when we get back, we will go into our second picks. Also, side note. Uh, Ian lives in California, so he can ride through the winter. Yeah, that makes more sense. Like two days of rain, and yeah. everything yeah. else is fine. Screw you, Ian. <laughs> All right, add real quick, and uh, we'll get into pick number two, guys. What's going on, guys? This episode of Live on Tools is brought to you by Revzilla's RPM membership. What that is is basically a membership program that only costs sixty dollars a year, not a month, but a year, and you get a ton of rewards from it. It's kind of like Amazon Prime for Revzilla. So if you're buying a lot of motorcycle gear, especially on Revzilla, this could be really interesting for you. Check out all of the things you get for this. So you're going to get free two-day shipping and returns. You're going to get 10% off exclusive brands. You're going to get 5% cash back, period. Also, for you first-time members, you're going to get $15 in cash back from the moment you get this membership. It's also going to include early access to sales and phone lines and exclusive events. So if you're somebody that buys a ton of gear and could find a lot of value in this RPM thing, by all means, we'll have a link for you down in the description below. Thank you guys for supporting the show by going to that link. And uh, thank you, Revzilla, for sponsoring this episode. RPM membership also applies to Cycle Gear and JNP Cycles. There, I updated the ad. We'll see you guys with the rest of the show. Oh my god. I, bro, the fucking the update to the ad gets me every <laughs> single fucking time. Every time they change something, then I have to add that in in some sort of regard. And eventually, the whole ad is just going to be that. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys think it's as funny as we do. All right, uh, let's get into pick twos. Pick two. And then we have some big Cardo news mm -hmm. that I... Our have you to be fuck super careful with. <laughs> cannot fuck up on. Okay. All right, Bo, your two. pick two is... We're, we're going to keep it in the family. Start it out. No way. Yeah. Interesting move, Bo. What do you have for your pick two here? KTM 890 Adventure R. Interesting. The, okay, like, why The penultimate, now? like... Act, like, the... Their entire pedigree is based off of like serious off road. Yeah. So it was just like we started on a KTM adventure. Uh, it it just makes sense to be like, all right, I, these are the two brands I know, the mm -hmm. Triumph and the KTM. And in the world of ADV, there's like three that have been playing. Like Tigers have existed from like the like '90s and stuff like that. Like that. Right. You get your BMWs and you got your KTMs. That's what most people know. Um, you know, the Africa twin, of course, is a solid choice too, but I figure one, it's uh, a more manageable, uh, bike because the underslung weight, right. Uh, the tank, the tech package is, package is good. The, the engine is phenomenal. It's yeah. got best in class suspension, the WP suspension, which is like top of the line. Right. So it was just a, well, we know KTMs are good. I mean the the 890 Adventure R. Um, now, are you picking the R specifically or the 890 Adventure regular? R. 
The R. Okay, so yeah. you're thinking that he's going to go the 900 Rally Pro Triumph and then decide to go more off-road and yeah. shift to the Adventure R, 890 yeah. Adventure R. Yeah. So I have not Especially got now ride. that we know he's living in California, that now I'm like, yeah, yes. 100%. So we, uh, I have not got to ride the 890 Adventure R yet, but from what I hear, if you are an off-road adventure person, this thing is disgustingly good. Yeah. Like, it is on a whole nother level, so much so that it is hard to find these things. Yeah. You, like, it. I don't know if he could do your pick number two because he probably can't find one in a, in a dealership. Yeah. Um. I I don't think I've read any bad reviews about the 890 Adventure R. It, I mean, it, okay. So ridiculous. there there are some issues with KTM and a lot of people that okay. own them, uh, like mechanical issues and stuff like that. Just it it is what it is. The service lifetime is very short. Right. You know there there are the issues, but when it comes to pure performance, uh, especially for off road. Like I said, this thing comes with WP uh, shocks, which are like, like I said, cream of the crop, top, yeah. top of the line. And with that tank underslung like that, you have a bike that is heavier doesn't feel as heavy. It's a, it's the same thing with the the twelve ninety. Yeah, KTM's like <clears throat> underslung gas tanks are super interesting. Yeah. And uh, we rode the Super Adventure S recently yeah. uh, for a first ride. Um, Looked pretty nimble. For the size of the bike super was. nimble for how heavy it was yeah. um it just distributes the weight super well yeah. so interesting you're thinking uh you're thinking he goes back to his roots with ktm yeah. but focuses more off-road more off-road yeah i could totally see that that's that's a good pick i, I shout out to Bo for, for a good <laughs> pick on that um so this is where we diverge <clears throat> Bo. yeah so as we said my first pick was the uh 1200 rally pro triumph tiger yeah in my head, the guy upgrades to the penultimate what he can have in the class. Yeah. And, you know, I don't think he makes my pick number two very quickly after my pick number one. I think he puts, like, like years on the Rally Pro, okay, the 1200. He gets everything he can out of it. Yeah. And one of the downfalls of adventure bikes is that they are a little heavy. There's no way to get around that. They, they typically hide their weight very well. Yeah. But they are a little bit heavier of a motorcycle, so I'm thinking after Did his. Did you read his comment, by the way? Just while you're saying that out loud. Nah. He is six three, two hundred pounds. Okay. <clears throat> so a lighter guy, uh, taller guy, but lighter guy at least compared to me. Um, that okay. That does not mean he's lighter. <laughs> You get what I'm saying? Okay, anyway. It means you're heavier, but So, shut up. I'm trying to work on that. So, okay, so he's penultimate adventure bikes, and he's getting to the point where, like, you know what? I would like a little more lightness, a little more road-focused, which is hilarious that you went dirt, I went road. Yeah. Um, but my next pick okay. is the MT-09 SP. Wow. Okay, so here's my thought process. Um, he's going to get tired of really heavy platform and want to try something new, but he likes the triple. So he moves to try something new with the Yamaha. It's cost effective. It has great reliability. Uh, even the cost of the SP is still extremely cheap. So yeah. insurance is going to be cheaper. <clears throat> parts are going to be cheaper. It's going to be an all over cheaper experience. Yeah. So it's also from what you guys have probably seen, if you guys keep up with all the videos, the MT-09 SP, in my personal opinion, is probably one of the most balanced bikes when it comes to power and weight. It's the most power I think I would ever want in the lightest package to stay stable. You know, there, there's a lot to go into that, but I think Yamaha just blew out of the park the MT-09 SP. And I think if he, wants, if he wants to go road... And he wants to keep that kind of body position that he's he's you know still has got a handlebar and everything. I think you get all of the power of what a lot of people assume you're going to get out of a super sport, but you get it in a usable, comfortable fashion that's mm -hmm. not going to ruin your back. Because obviously, I don't think somebody's going to go from a 1290 Rally Pro to or a 1200 Rally Pro to a, a you know a, a a super sport. You know the right. the leaned over body position. So I think he's going to decide to go lighter, get more road focused, and see what that's about. Because 
the ride on an MT-09 SP is going to be nothing the same yeah. as a Tiger Rally Pro. Uh, it, it's got a lot of tech in it. I think I think he would have a really good time on road with the MT-09 SP. And if he gets if he gets all that weight taken from him, bruh, it's going to be a night and day difference, especially with the setup. That is a very it. interesting choice. <clears throat> interesting. Okay, so before we get to pick three, we got let, let's do this Cardo stuff before it gets too late. Okay. Because so Cardo was very nice to send us our little care package recently. So now we have let, all let kinds of this, stuff. Let me see if this works. <clears throat> so while you're figuring that out, uh, guys, every episode we try to get we like to get uh, we you know we have a, we have sponsors here. We're doing a Cardo giveaway, right? Yeah, we're gonna do a Cardo giveaway. But today we're doing a bold pack talk bold baby. Nice. If you guys don't know. The Pack Talk Bold is the top of the line, the creme of the creme. And I just, I don't know how that saying goes. <laughs> it is the it is the Bluetooth unit I have on my helmet. Bo has everybody in the yeah. shop has a Pack Talk Bold. We cannot say enough good about them. Yeah. We've had them for years. We have have we ever had one mess up? I, I've had the same one. For Since th- for three years, yeah, they are yeah. absolutely amazing. It's the yeah. things we use all the time. I can't have anything else on my helmet other than a Pack Talk Bold. We are giving away one tonight. Now, to be selected for getting a Pack Talk Bold, we have a little uh, robot in the chat. All you guys have to do is type subscribed in the chat, be subscribed to our live on two wheels YouTube channel, and if you type that in the chat. We will select you momentarily. So I've got it up on the screen, but if you could show my screen, wherever I have you already RDM. have been yeah. perfect. All you right. just got you guys. You said that in a weird way, okay? Okay. If you want to win the Pack Talk Bold, right now in chat, you can put the word "subscribed" and that will register you absolutely to win a Pack Talk Bold. This is the big boy. This is the. They don't get any bigger than this. Yeah, this is the big boy. So. Okay, so while you guys are typing that in the chat, we have some Cardo news to talk about, and I have to be very particular about what I are say. Are you reading the thing now? I'm going to read the thing, but I have to be very careful. Are you ready? Um, I'm not ready yet. Let me know when you're ready. So, we have information from the leaders over at Cardo. Yep. In order for me not to mess this up, yeah. I have a script to read. Bo, if you will, please. Uh. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. To those to whom it may concern, Cardo, champion of communicators, creator of mesh, friend to all, and crier of the realm, shall have a humdinger of an announcement within the fortnight. Not the video game. Wait, wait, scratch that. We have just received word that, more specifically, the humdinger of an announcement shall come to those to whom it may concern on the 29th day in the month of March. That's the 29th day in the month of March in the year of our producer and spirit ghost on two wheels, 20 and 22 not the 28th not the 27th surely not the 30th but the 29th thank you okay (laughs) did i read that correctly trey (laughs) getting clouds okay seriously we got we got information on what's being released on the 29th from Cardo. We don't have one in the shop yet, but they are taking something that's already amazing and making it more amazing. I've got this fucking mute button on the ready. Dude. So <laughs> w- <sighs> this is like, Yamaha having the best bike in its class and nobody's close to it and then they add a shit ton of upgrades to make it better even though there's no competition. You guys are going it, it it's going to be awesome. 
Okay, that's it. That's it. That's all. I did it. I did not say anything. I didn't say anything. Okay, Bo, can we pick a winner for the Cardo Bold? All right, I'm going to roll it. Roll it. Miguel Alejandro Salazar Estevez. What? Yeah. <laughs> what an ethnic name that is. That's awesome. awesome name. That's what I'm saying. I oh, wish it I says had, it in the chat. Uh, yeah, I wish I had more than just Man, like three I dumb would, names. Bro, if I walked around with a name like that, I would have my chest up and I would be looking at people like, you speak to me, I am... I'm not even going to try to say his name. Um... Okay, so awesome. Congrats, Miguel, for, for winning the Cardo Bold. Uh, you will not be sad. He has been uh, subscribed since 6 uh, 2021 Awesome. So congrats <laughs> to Miguel in the chat, everybody. Uh, gonna <clears throat> super enjoy Pack Talk Bold. So, Miguel, what you need to do is uh, take a screenshot of your YouTube page so that we can see who you are. Uh, send that to Bo at chaseontwowheels.com. He will confirm your information, get all the other info he needs from you, and uh, you're going to be getting a Pack Talk bold, my guy. Yeah. Congrats on that. Um, does YouTube allow direct messages um, to people? They don't. Well, that's it's fucking so stupid. It's so annoying. Yeah. I know. Um, okay. So, congrats. Congrats. Uh, let's. That's our Cardo giveaway, ladies and gentlemen. Also, shout out to Cardo. It was Cardo's idea yeah, yeah. for us to do Cardo giveaways every episode. That was on them. And I was like, yes, please. Let's let's give away as much as we can. I'm trying to get you guys as much stuff as I possibly can. All right. We're trying to use our connections to get you guys stuff. Yeah. Also, if you guys are just listening or watching us after the fact, so sorry. The Cardo giveaway is only for our live people yeah. only. But we love you guys, too. Yeah. But you got to tune in live, 4.30 Eastern Standard Time, every Thursday. Yes, sir. All the way to 6 p.m. Okay. Uh, so, we've I feel like we've done a good job of spreading this show out. We've we've had some mixes of, like, you know, all over the place. We've been doing giveaways. This is, this is rolling pretty well. I'm pretty excited about this. Yeah. All right. Kohan Raj makes a good point. They used to allow messages to other YouTube accounts. I know. And that I... I don't know what this, this is. I don't our know conversation you earlier. YouTube is so anti-creator, dude. So anti-creator. That's a ridiculous thing. Um, did you give them my email address? I did. Okay, good. Okay, I was yeah, about to be like, should I not have? Send that. I don't know. We got a couple of trolls in the uh, chat today. So I mean, hey, what's up, trolls? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching our videos. <laughs> yeah, you're really helping us grow and become better. So it sucks to you. You're you are literally the building blocks of this channel. So keep hating, and we're gonna keep getting better. Yep. Um, all right, Bo, are you ready for? You got it up on the screen. Ian's, uh, yeah, I've got it up on the screen. Pick Ian's number three. Third. And and final, as far as this show is concerned, Yo. um, pick Bose number three is boom. boom going big dollar. Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what are we looking at, though? That is the uh, the BMW 1250GSA, the GS Adventure. It is their wow. top of the line. Now, the price of this starts, uh, it, like most BMWs, starts... I was about to say, that why is the price only 20345 It's because, just like every other BMW, they start out at a r ridiculously approachable amount, but the, everything is an add-on. Every single thing. You can walk out of a BMW dealership spending forty thousand plus dollars. on a gs yes what yeah can we do this live i i don't yeah. <laughs> i don't recommend this. i don't recommend this <laughs> uh, okay but yeah it's a it's a big boy oh um, yeah, hold on build your own we're gonna try to do this super fast we're on the bmw builder i've been on their site it's not the best yeah it's builder. loading really slow. yeah it's not the best builder okay next step next step i just want to build it i just want to build it Okay, so just oh you so the oh no it's not, you don't even get the color. The color's an additional eight hundred. Jesus yeah. Christ. Okay. Oh, okay. So I want blacked out engine pieces. Thousand. Yeah, you can see where oh it's going my on, right? Goodness. Everything is an option. And you just keep adding and adding. So the premium package is premium. How much? Yo, the premium package is four thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so it's yeah. not the best uh, site for all that shit, but yeah, once you start adding shit in, you're looking at like yeah, we're at thirty thousand already. Yeah, and you haven't even added luggage. Oh wait, I'm adding things that and, already and, and, sh and shit like that. So oh my goodness, okay, we're not yeah, we got to thirty thousand with like three clicks. But, so oh, but you know this, what? the cool thing is you can 
get into this. Yeah, so at that's twenty thousand. Yeah, so, uh, so all those who have been watching us uh, for a while know that like the BMW, um, A fifty GSA was on the, my list. Mm -hmm. um, but by the time we get it configured, you're looking at like. 19,000. And that's the 850? Yeah. Interesting. And it was just like, no, no, I don't think so cuz you don't you obviously don't get uh, you know, all the stuff you in and, and it, we comparative to the other bikes in the like the KTM and the Tigers and stuff, but right. the GSA is a solid bike. The telelever uh, fr you know, front forks is amazing, so no brake dive whatsoever. Interesting. Like, the whole so it's packaged. It's, it's the reason that it has been the, the king of um uh, touring for a while. So, are you saying he's going to go with the the base model, or what do you think are some of the things he would add to this luggage? Okay, right. So, I see this as a uh, a tour for the streets that f is super capable and comfortable on like open roads, fire roads, and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. I mean, it is the. I've never really like spent some time on a GS, but like it is the kind of like quintessential adventure bike. Yeah, yeah. So you think it's just this with some luggage? So he's probably coming in at what, like twenty five, maybe? Yeah, twenty five, twenty six, something like that. Yeah. I mean, it's a monster. It's, motorcycle. it's good. The telelever is really good. Other bikes are doing amazing stuff with electronic suspension now to to reduce dive. Well, so what is telelever? I've never heard that. So before. it has like basically has a shock underneath. Right, you can't see it, but in this picture, uh, it's basically right behind that silver plate underneath the crash bar. Right here. Yeah. So in the middle, between the frame and the um, and the front forks, you'll they have this. Basically, it's another shock. Right. Gotcha. Interesting. Right. And so what happens is that shock takes a lot of the the dive out of it when you break heavily. Oh. Is that a BMW only thing? Because I've never heard of that I, before. I think so. I, I, I Don't quote me on that, but I, I think so. Um, <clears throat> the, the other bikes that are starting to do this more, though, are bikes with electronic suspension, and they're adjusting that uh, suspension to keep the brake dive from happening. We, we're seeing this in more motorcycles. We've yeah. seen that in the Super Adventure. Yeah. It had the same thing, and um, I think the Tracer 900 has the same thing, right? Yeah. It's interesting. Um, oh my God, what's up with all these accounts with the yeah. the Jesus Christ? I don't know. Did fucking Yammy Nude put something on his fucking Discord or something? Oh, uh, don't say that. Good God, there's so many of them. Speaking, um, yeah, speaking of bot accounts, I hid so, one fucking sixteen year old, and uh, now he went out. Yeah, just fucking. Yeah, I'm hiding all of them. Just hide uh, them all. Like. The GS. So here's the thing, guys. Uh, I'm a 40 year old man. I don't have. I don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> I will just delete you. It's it's literally that easy. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Yeah, no, no, this? it's fine. Uh, we're just gonna report. How do we stop all this? I've never seen that happen before. Oh, oh my god, it's infinite. They're infinite. They don't stop. Ah, don't just don't fuck it. It's just it is what it is. Some okay. fucking sixteen year old went and you know, online to, to create fake accounts to. I'm gonna make every one of our uh, like OG people um, a, a freaking moderator, and you can just y'all can destroy. Like, the bots. At the end of the day, your trolling's not gonna work on us because we're just gonna fucking hide you. Right. Yeah, bye. Um, so you, you something I've noticed with the the direction that you've chosen is that y you've stayed adventure the whole time, yeah. really. Yeah. I mean, I, I took the first two, right? Yeah. And was like, okay, so clearly there is um, there is a theme mm -hmm. to it. Uh, and then I looked at the type of, of bikes. So we went from a, a beginner-friendly kind of uh, adventure bike that is more geared towards road. Yeah. I'd say nearly geared entirely towards road. Um, and then went to a more off-road capable right and then uh it, at the end of the day the growth is where i made my decision so it's like okay we go from an older triumph to a newer one right and then kind of go okay well let's go play in the dirt real hard and then it's like all right we're it's time to take it seriously let's get the the big daddy i think what's the, interesting I, I was torn between the gsa and the 1200 uh, rally pro honestly for the pick for that for that final one yeah well, so the thing I find really interesting is you were able to stay in the adventure class the whole time. Yeah. And even with that, 
move him around where it's like, okay, I'm more dirt focused, I'm more road focused, and now I'm more like overall focused. It's yeah. it kind of says a lot for the adventure class yeah. that you can kind of you can take your pick. There's no kind of bounding walls like where There's if you a have a super variety. sport, it's not like that. You know, there's a I mean? lot more variety in the because I mean, like even with say the Tiger 900 Rally Pro, if you put 80 20 tires on it, yeah, it's a more road focused bike, and then you can go put 50 50s on it or 20 80s on it, right? And you're a more off road focused bike, so it's like it's it's interesting the variety of it. And the GSA is kind of uh, the like the penultimate in in that. This it's, this a, just, it's a big boy, but now no, no yeah, it, now it's no one he's a big sure. boy, you know what I mean? Yeah, um. It, it, this makes it really clear that kind of connection we were talking about where uh, the adventure bikes are just really big modded supermotos because a supermoto is one of the few bikes that you can do this style of thing with. You can yeah. ride any level, like any type of riding you want where like, you know, you guys have seen this with me. Like I go through spells of the type of riding. Like sometimes yeah. I'm, I want to be in the mountains every single weekend. Yeah. And then sometimes I'm, you know, like right now I'm like, I kind of want to check out this kind of adventure off roady thing with a, with an adventure bike. I could, and I can entirely see myself one year. I put 50, 50 tires on the bike and I'm going all over the place. And then one year I want to pull back from that. Mm -hmm. And maybe I put on a full like set of road tires and I just stay on the road the entire time. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just a, it's such there's a cool a lot of, There's class. a lot of movement inside that, that subgenre of motorcycling. Now, I, I say all that. Okay. To, <laughs> to go. What did you do? <laughs> so my third pick. Yes. Um, <clears throat> I didn't necessarily go in the, in the, in the route that you did. Yeah. Um, so. How far out did you go? Uh, well, I, Okay. So my last pick was the MT09 SP. Right. So in my head, uh, Ian stays with the tri with the triples because you know you there is a, a certain cool feeling of a triple. A lot of waffling. I personally really like the triple. Okay. So I don't think he's going anywhere from the triple. I think he's really dedicated to that. Now, having owned a Triumph in the past, having spent a lot of time on Triumphs, I know that there is there is a feeling. It's very similar to how Ducatis used to feel. Mm -hmm. Triumphs have a really unique feeling. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys have noticed this oh in the Triumphs God. we've had here in the shop. <laughs> I'm on the edge of my seat, man! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. You're falling into my plan. Go! Okay. He's on the, he's on the MT-09 SP. Okay. He's got this cool road vibe going on, but he misses what he has. Okay. He wants it back. Oh my god. If you're on an MT09 SP, what do you go to next? This better be the best fucking bike in the world. Speed Triple RS. Oh my god. It's so it's a better bike than the MT09. He has fallen in love with the naked platform. He really enjoys the the road riding, but he misses that that triumph premium touch. So what does he go for? He goes for, is it too aggressive? Yes, yeah, sometimes. Is it an absolute monster of a motorcycle that still has the, the same engine that he peaked out in with the Tiger, that 1200? I think he goes back to a, to a Speed Triple RS. Oh my good God. What is happening in our chat right now? Uh, yeah. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Oh, we have the, the ghost is posting the reveal. All right. So, I, I as we can, can see Can you make that bigger so chat can see it? No, I I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to. Uh so I have him going full sporty mode. You have him staying in the adventure class. Now, let's read. Mhm. Mm Ian says, this is his original statement that we got redacted, and now we have to see the full thing. Ooh. Started on a KTM 390 Adventure, oh. upgraded to a Tiger 800. Yeah. Next bike, looking like a Ducati Desert X, a Prilia Toreg, which is a totally good option, yeah, yeah. or a Tiger 900. Oh, you got it. Woo! 
Also, thinking of picking up a WR250R, which is their more uh, dirt-focused one, to do some more technical off-roading. So here... All right, that's two out of three. That's two out of three of my picks because the 900, the next is the next up upgrade. And going for more technical off road, my second pick was an off road king, the t the the KTM uh -huh. 890 Adventure R. So I'm just saying. All all I'm saying. Same wavelength. You you read Ian way better than I did. And it, I, I <laughs> if only someone was looking to sell their WR. Hey, Ian. <laughs> hey, Ian, what's up? You want a WR250X? Uh, mm -hmm. um, I want you guys to know, it took fucking everything I had not to put a Ducati <laughs> Multistrada bike speed God edition. damn it. I really wish you had now. I told you guys last week I would not, or the last time we did this, I would not do that every time. I almost did it as a joke, but I want you guys to know that just because I love that motorcycle doesn't mean I think it's the right bike for everybody. Toreg's a good bike. I don't know enough about the Desert X. It looks pretty cool. So the Toreg looks super interesting. It's basically the T7, but it has, I think it's a little more powerful, and it has a lot more tech in it than the, the yeah, yeah. T7 does. But somebody, either we were talking about this, I don't know who brought this up, but we, we've all talked about the T7 doesn't really have a lot of tech with it. It has ABS. Yeah, like switchable right. ABS, that's it. Well, uh, the thing that has come to light that I now realize, the, the T7 doesn't have a lot of electronics because if that kind of stuff breaks when you're out and about, yeah. there's no getting around it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that can lock the thing up. So I think that whoever I was talking to, wherever I read it, that's kind of why the T7 kind of leans towards the bare bonesness of it. Yeah. Because like you can fix a lot of stuff out and about, like out on trails and stuff well, they like do that. The, they do the other stuff really well. It's just right. like... Yeah, like I just riding a um riding a bike with a quick shifter and heated grips and you know lean sensitive ABS and traction control and all that stuff. It is nice. Yeah. So uh yeah, Ian, let us know what. Oh my good god, Ian, let us know uh what you think of our uh of our picks for you. If you want to go road, now you have a path. Yeah. I've I've given you this path. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but clearly I was more right. You, I'll give that to you, man. You yeah. were a 100, you had this guy like nailed and, uh, I, I, I think and knowing he's a bigger guy, like, uh, a taller guy. I mean, if we're going to be on now that I know, yeah. now that I know how, like the, the, the sizing, I don't know if I'd recommend the, the speed triple because that is a, it's a. It would be a tight bike because you said he was six two, right? Yeah, six two. I don't think he'd fit on the speed trouble really well, honestly. No. Um. It's a. It's a. It's a toy tiger. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I think I would. I would go with you. Um. Yeah. Sport tours are the way, especially for tall guy. The uh the GS is is great for tall guy. Yeah. Uh, the tiger, both the nine hundred and the twelve hundred. This actually makes sense why he's into adventure bikes because typically adventure yeah. bikes are better suited for the the taller guys just because of the way your body is set yeah. up and everything tiger 1200 is going to be really good too uh shaft driven so no maintenance there yeah uh great electronic package yeah you know um not heavy as you'd think like the tiger 1200 shaved like 50 something pounds or something like that off right so like it's it's definitely going to be lighter than the GS by a long shot. If I'm gonna, so now now that we've gone through this whole conversation, we've kind of had Ian yeah, in the like, chat. Now Multi is back on the table. <laughs> now this, no. So here's a here's what I think Ian will probably end up doing. Yep. I think that he's probably going to upgrade to the 900 to get the tech. Yeah. And he's gonna have he's gonna have the WR or some sort of light supermoto that he can do small roads with because i think he's gonna want a a super light bike i think you'll be surprised at, at the 900's capability yeah on on um on off-road well so maybe so maybe yeah. I, I i realistically same i think he upgrades the, to the 900 thing, and then goes the it's a it's a light adventure bike right for the most part okay so uh nice nice picks bo yeah. uh claps for you um so it's 5 47 we've got 13 minutes before we get to discord I want to resurrect something we used to do. And I don't know what happened, but if you remember, this is how we even met up with Moto Marvelous back in the day. Yeah. 
we randomly came across a video where somebody was making content and we were like, bro, you are, you are punching way above where we would expect somebody like you. Yeah. So I've been watching this dude's channel recently that I'm like, bro, how do you, how do you not have way more views than we do? (laughs) type thing you know yeah i feel Um, that way about a lot of people yeah there are so many people making really good content so guys back in the day we used to uh you know i don't remember what we called it we used to give shout outs to channels that we thought needed shout outs yeah so uh what i want to do i don't want it to be channel focused i want it to be video focused but if it needs to be channel focused it is if it's photo focused but i've got this one guy on youtube right now that and you guys know i don't watch a lot of motorcycle content I watch this guy's content all the time. Yeah. So uh, we're going to go over to the our page. I want to show you guys this dude. His name is Moto Feels, and mm-hmm. I, uh, I'll i bring his page up so you guys can check it out. Um, so he is a Australian-based videographer, yeah. photographer guy. He has his game set up like all the thumbnails are super consistent. He's got this whole like black and white theme with the thumbnails. Video quality is fantastic. He he's getting into the moto vlogging stuff more because from what I've seen, he did a lot of uh, talking to a camera, but he didn't do a ton of moto vlogging. Yeah. Moto vlogging, if you guys aren't familiar, obviously helmet on, GoPro or some sort of action camera on, and you're talking to your audience inside of your helmet. Yeah. This guy does such a good job he just recently got a a a workshop kind of like what we have here yeah taking his stuff super seriously he's really branding his his moto feels thing you guys will not be upset by watching this guy's videos like i don't have a lot of time to watch youtube videos when i do i watch this guy's videos also uh and we'll have a link in the description uh for his channel people are uh, shouting out in chat like they, okay they yeah perfect yeah. um also bro i want you, i don't know if you've seen his uh freaking <laughs> instagram page look at the freaking instagram photos right. the here let's let's just do a little a little can we click through instagram things look at the so check out his bike yeah he's got this triumph scrambler thing that <laughs> i mean dude he's got moto feels on his triumph yeah like this guy, like I've been doing this for ten years. This guy comes in and makes better content than I do. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's good. but I mean, good stuff, man. Like, look at this. Yeah. Every time he's going out during like golden hour, and I'm like, I here's here's the thing. I watch this guy's videos, and I'm like, bro, I know how to make content at that level. I need to go do that. Yeah. I need to be. I, I have all the gear to take photos like this. Yeah. Why am I not ma- take, taking photos like this? Know. It makes me. This is one of the exciting things. Probably why I watch him a lot. He gets me excited to go make my own content. Yeah. And that honestly doesn't happen a ton. So when I see somebody like that, it, oh my god, I didn't even see this. He's got feels on his fucking license plate. That's a flex. That's pretty. <laughs> yeah. Chase is in love. Bro. He's got hearts in his eyes. This guy just does such a good job. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, like, he gets decent views because, like, if we look back, he's only got 25K subs. He's getting great views, and that's why. Yeah. Actually, fun fact. Do you remember when we were doing the Foresight Helmet review? hmm And there was one video on YouTube that had a ton of of views Mm -hmm. it was this guy oh nice yeah Uh, that's what uh, yeah right here 373k views yeah yeah. that is where i originally saw him and i think i guess i just subscribed at that point and his videos kept popping up yeah and i didn't get into him until like recently but bro this dude's killing it he's doing literally everything right like if if i were to judge his channel by the you know the last i don't know 15 videos i would have no updates I haven't watched any motorcycle videos in a while, so I might have to get there. I've been stuck on watching Dean Lamb and his wife uh, do Four Loves of Death Metal, and it's like 90% banter and hilarious and 10% guitar. Yeah. But that's been like the last three weeks. So I, I have not kept up with motorcycle stuff uh, in the last couple of weeks uh, outside of Totally go check this guy yeah, out. You can literally out. watch any of his recent videos. Phenomenal job. Yeah. Uh, could not give enough props to this guy. Uh, the fucking Australian dude, man, yep. doing doing everything right over on YouTube and on Instagram, just doing a great job. Um, all right, now 
We are on to the... Oh, wait. Smart answers only. I almost forgot. Oh, my God. Okay, I have to read through these things. Or we have to read through these things fast. Yes. Oh, no. Ghost is on it. I can't I can't make it lower. <laughs> there it goes. All right. Poltergeist. <laughs> All right. Super fast. Smart answers only. Let's do this thing. Also, these are the answers from the smart guys. If you guys don't know who smart is, go to the Discord. You'll find out real fast. All right. Smart answers only. Hey. Trey, this is his comment. If your bike progression leads you to an older bike, wouldn't that be considered regression or progression in maturity and taste? Trey, I can barely read your scripts. Why are you trying to make me read hard things? Hit. Aren't you Yanto SP? I thought you were Yanto SP this Why whole time. Why the hell would he be? Yanto I don't know. SP? I feel so stupid now because that person's now a mod. Well, shout out Yanto. <laughs> You're a mod now. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm so stupid sometimes. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit. This is so great. Okay. All right. All right. Answer. Uh, real answer. As we grow older, our taste in things will as well. Wanting, wow, wanting different things as you grow older is a part of life, and I would say it's progression. I agree. Most new bikes feel uninspiring. Older bikes can have a certain charm. Old is gold. There I kind of like the old is gold thing. Old is gold. That's can be. I, I, but here's, here's the thing, man. Sorry, Yanto. I, I appreciate You're going to keep your mod status. I mean, so. yeah, you're a mod now. <laughs> I mean, Don't you're, fuck up. <laughs> Don't mess this up. Uh, old is gold, but like new tech is just is so good. It is. You need to have both. I, got, I, I, have a stre- I have a stress pill, guys. I have a stress pill. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, moving on, moving on. Go, Trey, go. Oh, wait, Bo. shit, Bo, go. Fuck! Milf, Milf. <laughs> why, why, why are we reading Milf? Smart Pie, Stifler's mom. It's a, it's a picture in regards to that. Uh, yeah. That's not fair. You didn't have to read anything. Yeah. Read. That's still, we're in pictures. So you don't have a question? Damn it. No. Uh, this is a new question. Yeah. Hey, Smart, I have a CBR 250, and I'm wanting to get a Triumph Street Triple. If I could have a forever bike, it's an Aprilia 1100 factory. Maybe a turbo Hayabusa. Don't do those things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, t- I'll tell you. I'll tell you this. Uh, Brian has a Tono uh, V4. Yep. And uh, even that guy says that's just too much bike. Not also, what you're doing. So. I'm not gonna make a comment on anything I'm seeing in the background. Yeah. That is it. What I think it is. Yes, it is. Uh, <sighs> we're that, moving that on. We're moving happy. on. We're moving on. That okay. Made me happy. Before my endorsement, got a Honda Ruckus. First bike after endorsement, I got a V-Strom 650. Currently have a V-Strom and a XJ 550. Cafe, Cafe Racer, Racer Project Bike. Yeah. Interesting. Bro, you need a... A what? A dick fur? What is a dick fur? Yeah, I don't understand. Can you explain this to me? Yeah, Ghost. Ghost, what do you have for us on this? What is a dick fur? Yeah. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Terrible. <Jesus. laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Question. This will be my second season of riding. I started on the KTM Duke 390. Again. Uh, another KTM 390. Good. It was a fantastic bike to learn on. And I recently just switched to an MT-07. Also great. Uh, you have chosen wisely. So, one, KTM D- Duke. Uh, yeah, that's a Duke 390. Two, when you meet your smart doppelganger, <laughs> XSR 900 is your smart grade. Yeah, the XSR yeah. would be the, like, that's a great path. Yeah, it is a great three, path. A Duke 390 to start on. This could be a great MTF path for somebody that's never read before. XSR 900, that's a good one. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. the, I mean, like, who the hell is going to go wrong with an MT? Like, I literally want an MT-07. I've been riding for 10 years. And then the XSR 900? You guys know, I say it every show, I'm going to say it again. My dream setup, XSR 900 and a T7. I'd be good. I would literally be good. Yep. All right, moving on. Everyone on the community page who doesn't ask a question, <laughs> ask a smart question. <laughs> <laughs> Bo, you look so tiny behind a T7. Can I feel we... like he shrunk it. I don't, or made the No, bike no, he definitely didn't. No, no, I think the bike got made bigger. Ghost, did you make the bike did, bigger? Did this alter? Ghost? Uh-huh. Because, like, 
my hand doesn't wait. even go towards the... <laughs> wait, the, hold on. If you look at the truck... Yeah. Oh, Bo, they did you wrong! They did me the dirty! Smart guys did you dirty! Yeah. Bro, you're literally shorter We're than the rear view. We're best friends! <laughs> oh, that was great! Oh my goodness. I love the smart guys answering in meme form. Yeah, yeah. I think that needs to- that's the only way we accept smart answers only. Oh my god, that's hilarious. All right, let's go. Good job, guys. Nice job on the smart answers. Okay, so, back to the Discord page. We got three minutes. Let's rock through. What we got? Yeah. Excuse moi. Next, uh, first up. Dad, did you get a haircut? No, I got them all cut. <laughs> I fucking yes! I knew you were That's great. I love that. That's how, oh my God, that's going to be <laughs> me so hard. Okay. How do you follow Will Smith in the snow? I don't know how. You follow the fresh <laughs> Oh, this is a this is a meme. This is, this is a this is yes. a all you, buddy. Oh no, it's so great! Oh my goodness! What did you mean? I'm too controlling. You heard me. <laughs> it's a pup and a sheep. Kind of looks like Oreo. Oh my god! He's an I'm, Australian Shepherd. I love these. Oh my god! There's so many. Hold on. All right, I'm getting through there. Some. I don't trust. I don't trust stairs. Why now? You're always up. They're always up to something. Oh my god! This yes. is my nightmare. <laughs> this is my fucking. I'm nightmare. getting so much ammunition. This is so great. Why don't eggs tell jokes? They crack each other up. <laughs> oh, yes. Fucking hate you yes. Right now. <laughs> oh my god! This is so great. Why did the o what did the ocean say to the beach? I don't know. What did it say? Oh, nothing. It just waved. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is so great. Okay. I only know 25 letters of the alphabet. How is that possible? I don't know why. <laughs> That's so great! Oh my god. Okay, hold on, hold on, Bo. Keep Look. Going, keep going. Okay. Keep going. This is from Andy. <laughs> when you're smart and dead, it starts teaching MSF. So, class, that's how counter steer works. When can we wheelie? You're awesome, Randrew. Thanks for helping the noobs stay safe. Or the noobs stay safe. Noobs. Wow. Words. Bo's done. <laughs> Bo's silence. Sponsored by Cardo. All right. We're still going. We're still going. <laughs> Hairdresser. Do you like it? Me. Yes. Thank you. Me the whole car ride home. It's a baby Yoda with a wig. And I kind of love it. I gotta love it so much. Shout out to all the Star Wars people. <laughs> I'm Chase Buker, and I read it all. That's my vote. <laughs> Dude, that's pretty great. I that, that's Burgundy. <sighs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, <laughs> shout out great. to friggin' Mark. Um, posted a photo of me drinking from my one gallon water jug, which I will do now. <laughs> But he he superimposed a Elmo sippy Good cup. Good job on the cutout. Good job on the cut. Freaking Mark, you that's that's some high praise right there. Yeah, bud. Oh my god. Okay. Uh looks like Trey Dog, we have <laughs> 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 All right, so it's a little comic strip. The first photo is of two buttons at a control panel and a hand trying to decide which button to press. One says dog bork, one says a lot of random shit, How, not no, MP3. It literally says housekeeping, not MP3, you dingus. Oh, it does say housekeeping in a way that Chase can't oh read, God. and then underward, under it, it's under a photo words. of a, underwards. It's a guy sweating, and it says Bo. That's so oh great. Uh, that that, that's a close that's one. That's a throwback I, to season, up, season two, episode two, where I was here alone. That's a close one, man. Moto Cannon, what do we got? Wait, what am I looking at? I can't decide what I'm looking it's a at. Dirt here. bike of some descript. It is a dirt bike of some descript. Moto Cannon, what is what is this? Tell us more. I we just we. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Chase Beaker, and I'll read it all again. This time with actual as photo you, of as me. You're reading it all. Yeah. As, yeah. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? Do you not? The whole reason I made that joke is because of the South Park with the Canadians and their little flappy jaws. Oh, I did. I so I, I don't really watch South Park, so I don't get this. Okay, well, 
If you're a South Park person, maybe you'll get that. Yeah. What comes on 29th of March? A blessing, a blessing from God. From God. Oh. <laughs> it is though. Yeah. It is. I can't say anymore because I yeah, you'll get I'll trouble. mess that up. You're be dangerously close to that. Upgrade from the R6 to a Maserati. More power. Oh my God. What in the Batman? What in the Batman indeed? I don't know what I'm looking at, but it's a lot. Yeah, that is a that's a big old no thank you on that one. VP of Smart, request a troll's name. I must destroy. <laughs> 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 Yeah. I mean, since everybody in the chat's now yeah. a moderator, so <laughs> we're safe. I basically select, like, uh, select all chat and then moderation status. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> we got a rare photo of Luke on the wheel machine, uh, on our tire machine, the wheel and machine. it says, I love Next white wheels. salsa, which is pretty great. What? We're going to have to have Trey on one day, and we're going to have to talk about white salsa. Oh, my good God. That's so great. Oh my, it's the same thing? Oh my god, there's so many. Okay. You know there's an actual hover bike like that that Colin Furs made. Oh my god, there's so many. Okay, we're, all right, we, we got to the end of it. We got to find a winner. I mean, I'm feeling like, no, you can, go, you can fuck off with the dad jokes. Uh, but, no. Nope. Okay, all right, dad jokes didn't win this time, but I, I support you. Like, I mean, I, I that, feel like friggin' Mark with yeah. the cut out of my hand has to win this. That that's the one I'm voting for, friggin' Mark. Yeah, friggin' Mark, congrats on that. Nice cutout. Nice cutout with the Elmo Sippy Cup. <clears throat> uh, we love it. We we love the Discord page. You guys, if you're watching live, you're watching after the fact, make sure to check out the Discord. It's it's a good time. Now, before we get out of here, uh, what's our next episode? Do we even know? Ooh. The, so, the possibilities of what it's going to be. Yeah, here's our, here's our options. I'm thinking maybe an after the ride episode, and we talk about the Jixer 750 that I'm going to ride because it's been quite a while since I've ridden a ridden a Jixer. Yeah. So maybe we have a let's give let's give the Jixer a good shakedown. Yeah. On uh, we'll do that on the live on two wheels episode on Thursday, and that'll prep everybody up for the actual first ride on Friday. I think that'd be cool. All right, guys. Uh, this has been Live on Two Wheels. Make sure to hit that like button on this video if you're watching it. Make sure to check us out over on Apple Podcast and Spotify. And uh, if you want to check us out live, maybe win some Cardo stuff that we're giving away on every episode, make sure to uh, tune in on the Chase on Two Wheels YouTube channel, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every week. You guys in the chat, shout out. You guys are freaking awesome. I, I like having the chat mm -hmm. up. Thanks to all of our mods. We're going to, yeah, the, AKA mods. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys Yonto, for that. Wait, welcome to the crew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kill all the bots. All right, dudes. You guys are fantastic. Y'all have a great rest of the week and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Later. Oh, that takes me a time. Just give me a minute. Hold on.